Motivation Daily. Today's motivation is going to be about embracing your insecurities. So I'm reading this book right now about interviewing and how to answer interview questions. And um, one of the main tips in there is to only say what you need to say. And so this guy asked me a question. He asked me, tell me a little bit about yourself. And so I proceeded to tell him all of my insecurities that I used to be bulimic, that I have a binge eating disorder. I've thought about suicide before. I have body dysmorphic syndrome. I've been raped before. Um, what else? I don't know, I just proceeded to tell him all these insecurities. And so my motivation today is like, when you embrace your insecurities and you can take them on and like process them and still move forward with life positively, I'm being so genuine with you guys right now. You can take your insecurities in and turn them, like even in your fears too, because your fears are part of your insecurities. If you can take your insecurities in, you can turn them into power. Once you can like have your insecurities roll off your tongue or your fears roll off your tongue, you, it gives you so much power. It's, it's, it's crazy. If you can tell people where you failed at in life, like they can't, what, what else can they, they can't hit you with anything. There's no more ammunition for anyone to kind of like penetrate you in a way that may be harmful. Once you've accepted your failures, your insecurities and like the wrong the things that you've done to people or how you've wronged people and how people have wronged you once you can accept those things and literally be able to talk about them which honestly like the person I'm gonna be straight up with you the person that got me to this point and I know this is very cliche but she's the person she is because she owned her her shit she talks about them and I and I would love to emulate her she's a great leader and she's a great influence and she's in the position where she is in life because she is 100% whole she owns herself she walks her truth and that's what it is it's just once you can walk your truth be and be yourself people are like oh I'm myself I'm myself you're yourself when you can own your s-h-i-t like when you can own I love Chelsea Handler Amy Schumer like, once you can own your shit, no one can fucking say anything to you. No one can do anything to you. If you're gonna be yourself, be yourself completely. But then, like, there's this thing that's, like, in the back of my mind where it's, like, if I only tell people what they need to know, then who am I helping? And so I told them all my insecurities. Now what? What else do you want to know? You want to know what my strengths are? Why? I also agree with telling people what you want to tell them because you never know who you're helping like whoever's watching this video I don't know if if someone can be thinking about suicide and if you're a person that has thought about suicide before or if has even attempted suicide before and that's the last person and, and you're the last person that they touch before they go like do something crazy like jump off of a bridge and you didn't tell them that tell them your story you could have been that person to save their life and so when people say tell people what they need to know like like I'm just gonna take it back to Oprah Oprah like when when did we need to know that Oprah had been raped and it had uh, lost the baby you know like when would I need to know that why but but do you understand like I know that because she felt that that was something I needed to know so telling people what they need to know is 100% designated to you and that shows in your power and your strength I'm very strong right now. I'm getting stronger. And I was very insecure. And I realized once I adopted the I don't give a shit mentality and to speak my truth, everything started falling into place. If I make you uncomfortable by telling you my truth, then I'm sorry. But I am secure in knowing that my truth is going to help someone one day. I'm 100% secure and knowing that my truth is going to help someone someday and your insecurity for me speaking my truth is probably deeply rooted in fear of some sort um and i would just highly suggest that you 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 look at that within yourself 
I'm speaking from a place of truth and honesty right now. I'm not telling you I don't still have insecurities. I'm not telling you that I'm um, bulletproof or anything like that. I'm not trying to feed you a false story. But straight up, y'all, seriously, you can't speak your truth. You can't tell someone, like, the darkest, you know, places of your life. Then, like, what's the point, you know? I wish you guys all the best. I will talk to you guys soon. Definitely feel free to like this video, please. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> You can put as much baking powder in it as you want. <laughs> I'm not eating it.